this is none of this is to say that we disagree with the use of violence uh, you know for a revolution that's it would be completely utopian for us to think that we could overthrow the government without guns that would just be nonsense <gasps> but our perspective is that we I'm sorry, did he just throw that in there? Did we just hit on a massive golden nugget completely by accident? Hang on. Let's listen to the radical revolutionary communist to talk about using guns to overthrow the federal government. I thought we were winding down, but no, we still had one more peak left to go. Hang on. This is, none of this is to say that we disagree with the use of violence, uh, you know, for a revolution. That's, it would be completely utopian for us to think that we could overthrow the government without guns. That would just what? be nonsense. But... Who told you earlier that the radical revolutionary socialists in America were planning the violent overthrow of the capitalist government? Who told you that earlier? Who said it? Was that me? Oh, yeah, that was me. That was me. Let's listen to one more time the radical revolutionary socialists talking about using guns and violence to overthrow the United States government. On video, on YouTube, in public, but no one's listened to it except for us. Again, we don't really disagree with violence. I'm just saying. Yep, if anyone wants to uh, send in a $2 uh, Carlin was right tip jar, like now is the time. You know, this is, none of this is to say that we disagree with the use of violence, uh, you know, for a revolution. That's, it would be completely utopian for us to think that we could overthrow the government without guns. That would just be nonsense. But our perspective is that we need to organize among the rank and file of the military um, because the rank and file of the military have guns already ah! and they don't... <laughs> what? Don't worry, guys. We have a plan to get the guns. We have a plan to get the guns. Oh, thank you, Jane. I'm so apologize. I missed your super chat. Don't don't worry, guys. We have a plan to get the guns. We're going to recruit the rank and file of the military. This is the Denver Communists. They are far-left radical revolutionary socialists. They are members of the Firebrand Collective, which is an organized affiliation between the Denver Communists, the Seattle, the Seattle Revolutionary Socialists, the Boston Revolutionary Socialists. <laughs> I'm sorry, again? Yeah. Again? Rather than them becoming a part of the process. Um, so, you know, this is, none of this is to say that we disagree with the use of violence, uh, you know, for a revolution. That's, it would be completely utopian for us to think that we could overthrow the government without guns. That would just be nonsense. But our perspective is that we need to organize among the rank and file of the military. Um, because the rank and file of the military have guns already, and they don't derive any material benefits from being in um, the military. Um, and we call to organize them and say to turn their guns instead of at us towards their superiors. <laughs> um, yeah. What have I been saying? The civil war is going to happen, but the civil war is not going to be left versus right. The civil war is not going to be red versus blue. The civil war 
is going to be radical revolutionary socialist versus the United States government. This is the second radical revolutionary socialist group that I have on video talking about the violent overthrow of the United States government explicitly saying they're going to use the military to do it explicitly saying it's not that we're going to use our guns we're just going to infiltrate the military and we're going to recruit the rank and file in the military we're going to get the military to turn their guns on the government and p.s we don't like mao and mao is like stalin and we reject maoism even though james Lindsay is running around saying um, the American Cultural Revolution is Maoism with Chinese characteristics, not because it's true, but because he is shilling conservative talking points. You guys remember, right? Aaron Bushnell. Aaron Bushnell is the is the is the guy who lit himself on fire a couple months ago in favor of Palestine. Aaron Bushnell was a radical revolutionary socialist. We know that because in his manifesto, he was using socialist language. He literally set himself on fire while wearing a military uniform. The far left has been working on infiltrating the military for years. When I say we are like 10 to 15 years away from the violent overthrow of the government, what I mean is they have been recruiting in the military and in the government for fucking decades. And they've got all these people. They're just sitting there waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting to be activated. And they're doing their military job. They're doing their government funded job. They're going in every day. They're doing their government funded job. They're getting paid by our tax dollars. And they're just waiting to be activated for this. The U.S. military recruiting foreigners within its ranks. I don't even think this is about foreigners. I don't even think about this is about foreigners. Okay, I'm sorry. I know we've listened to this like three times already, but we need to listen to it again because this is everything. Yeah, you're right. I should clip this. I should clip this actually directly. Hang on. As we are waiting for my clipping tool to load. We only have a couple minutes left. I really prefer, I, I really appreciate everyone who made it till the very end. We're going to make a clip of radical revolutionary socialists talking about utilizing the military to violently overthrow the United States government. No big deal. It's not like this hasn't existed on the internet forever. It's not like we're the only people to watch this shit. Oh, wait, we are. We're literally the only people to watch this. We can all just take this time as my clipping tool is opening and, and putting 11,000 windows onto my desktop. We can all just take the time to really contemplate what it means that we are literally the only people watching this stuff on the internet. This stuff exists out there. You just need to know how to find it. I know how to find this because I've been doing this for years now. And we have watched four and a half hours of communism tonight just to find this one clip. This is what's required. This is why I tell people to sit through the boring shit. This is what is required. It's not fun. It's not entertaining, although we do drink alcohol. Or I drink alcohol. I bet some of you are probably drinking alcohol as well. Okay, let me just uh, set up my recording. All right, we're doing this live. We're getting our clip. Our clippy clip clip start. Don't, don't fuck with me, clipping tool. Just start. No! Recording error. Come on. Again. Come on. I know you can do this. Don't do this to me, clipping tool. I might have to... Oh, no, it's starting. It's starting. No, no one touch anything. It's starting. All right. We're, we're, we're back. The, the activists currently... Um, engaging in violence or the guerrilla army are going to do it for them rather than them becoming a part of the process. Um, so, you know, this is, none of this is to say that we disagree with the use of violence, uh, you know, for a revolution. That's, it would be completely utopian for us to think that we could 
overthrow the government without guns. That would just be nonsense. But our perspective is that we need to organize among the rank and file of the military um, because the rank and file of the military have guns already and they don't derive any material benefits from being in um, the military. Um, and we call to organize them and say to turn their guns instead of at us towards their superiors. Um, yeah. And this is actually, this comes from the um, Russian Revolution, which, you know, the, the Russian army actually, the rank and file of the Russian army actually turned their guns on the um, commanding commanders. Um, this, this all comes from the Russian Revolution because they idolize Lenin, not Mao, not Stalin, Lenin. Let me just make sure I've got that clip saved. It's taking a minute here. They think it will be a society based on equity. I've outlined what the socialist utopia looks like extensively on my Substack. You can find it there. They think that it will be a society without crime, a society where everyone is taken care of, blah de dee, blah de dee, blah. Bro, you you think the federal government is gonna is gonna investigate this? I can't even get conservative media to report on this. This is like I said, this is not the first clip that I have found where radical revolutionary socialists are advocating the overthrow of the United States government. I can't even get conservative media to report on this. You think the government under Joe Biden is going to investigate this? By the way, the government under Donald Trump wouldn't either. They don't care. The far left is operating completely unopposed in the United States. And I know, listen, I don't want to I don't want to diminish this. Listen. I feel like the more I listen, the more insane it all gets. Listen. There are a lot of you tonight that are probably going to be feeling pissed off. But I want you to understand that even the people who claim to be on your team do not care about what we're seeing tonight. I have tried for years to get people to cover this stuff. We find stuff like this all the time that's more outlandish than the next, that's more outlandish and crazy than the next. We yet, well, Harmeet does share it. Harmeet does. That, that's true. If you guys want people to know about this, you need to share it. I'll put it up on my Substack. I'll make a clip for my YouTube channel. I'll put it up on Twitter. You guys need to share it. Because that's the only way people are going to know about this. This is never going to be investigated by the government. This is never going to be reported on conservative media. No one's going to talk about this because it's not in the approved news cycle. And also, this goes against the talking points that, that the conservative right has. So they're not going to report on it because of that. If you want people to know about this, you have to tell people about this. I'll make the clips available and all that, but you have to tell people. This has been live on the internet since March 8th. 2023. Really think about that. This is just one example, probably, of radical revolutionary socialists shitting on Maoists. This has been live on the internet since March 8th, 2023. It has less than 400 views. And you guys know I love nothing more than when we find things that have no views. Because just because it has no views on YouTube doesn't mean it's, in, in, it's not impactful in the real world because they're presenting this stuff among themselves. This was part of a Zoom call. I know how the Denver communists work. This was a Zoom organizing call with all of their members. They just put this, this selective recording on their YouTube. They have the full recording somewhere else, by the way. This is not even the full recording. This is a recording of one section of their Zoom call. No one bothers to watch this stuff but us. I cannot emphasize this enough. No one bothers to watch this stuff but us. So if you made it to the end, I want to congratulate you to making it to the end of another Socialism Saturday. I want to remind you 
that you can support the work I'm doing by supporting my Substack, Carlin, K A R L Y N dot Substack dot com. I have the video vault where that clip that we made earlier will be going in. That's a, a, a list of clips of socialist trainings that basically say the quiet part out loud. I'm doing breakdowns of the far left. This is all totally free. Well, not all of it's totally free. The Inner Circle podcast is supporter only. But if you support the work I'm doing for 8 bucks a month, 80 bucks a year, you will get invited to a number of supporter perks to include Zoom calls and Discord calls with me and members of my community that are private and unrecorded. We do movie night on Sunday. We do movie night on every Sunday at 8 p.m. We're also starting to do movie nights throughout the week. Mac B is hosting movie night on Monday now. But tomorrow at 8 p.m., we're going to be watching the Robin Williams classic, What Dreams May Come. How you get access to that is by heading over. So tomorrow, I'm going to send out an email that looks like this. It's not going to be this email because this was last week's email. It's going to be tomorrow's email. It's called the Unwoke Roundup. And when you get the Unwoke Roundup, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. And underneath this red box is going to be access to our supporter perks. That includes access to our community calls. That includes access to the supporter discord. That includes access to a 10% off coupon in the, in the Unwoke Art Store, which is my merchandise store. And that's available for supporters only. And you can find that tomorrow on my Substack. Come and watch what dreams may come with us tomorrow at 8 p.m. You can also support my work by heading over to speaksocialist.substack.com. This is where I'm publicly writing my next book which is going to be a re-education book about everything you need to know about the far left. It's basically going to be a study guide for Socialism Saturday. It's going to be a study guide for people who need to get up to speed on what the far left is actually doing. I'm distilling all the information that I know in my head down into a, a book that anyone can access to say, here is what the left thinks, here's what they say in their trainings, here's what they actually believe in plain English. Everything you need to know. And I'm posting the drafts over on this substack so you can access the drafts before it becomes an actual book. This substack is $10 a month or $100 a year. This is a premium substack because you're getting access to my book before it's published. And when you sign up for this, you will get a free digital copy of my book when I have it ready. But right now I'm just publishing it. So that's going to be that's going to be what it is. Mandatory guide to be on your person at all times. Well, that is the hope, Shadow. That is the hope.